Work by day, 500 gram podcast by night, all day. And Diego, where am I? What's this? What's going on? Gram podcast by night. Be like two dollars a pop. Yo, what is going on? This is your boy Christian Riego and FIFA Pim Diego. Que andamos otra vez. Nevea. <laughs> what? What in the? <laughs> and today we're coming at you with the fifth episode of Five. the Five Hundred Grand, Grand Talk, Talk Show. Show. Talk Show. Man, you messed it up, but <laughs> it's whatever. <laughs> we're going with it because this is a no cut. No podcast. cut comms. Yeah, no cut comms around here. Yeah, before. It was cut comms kind of a little bit, but I'm telling you, we're all raw, unfiltered, live, uncut. And vivo y en directo. Yes, sir, my man. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So, how was your fine day today? Good Friday, you know, out here uh, helping the community, community a little bit. The dog pound, you know, man. Enjoying the day. Yeah. Um, shout out to everybody. Uh from the dog pound, you know, y'all are cool. And um, other than that, not, not really much to do. Just out here uh, enjoying the day, playing FIFA. That's good. Not really much. So same, same old. in the last podcast, you know, at the end of the video, we said we were going to have some guests. <laughs> so that meant like a lot more than just this one. Lot but hey, we're, we're happy to have you here. Well, thank you. <laughs> happy to be here. <laughs> First time on the 500 grand talk trying show. Trying to come on, but you see, every time I was like, you know, maybe falling asleep or something, and Riego just walks right past me, acts like I'm not there, and he don't even invite me. I'm like, come on, man. Like, wait, yeah. I'm sorry, dude. I told you, you gotta be up on your game. We we do this no matter what. We go regardless. <laughs> grind time. You gotta be ready for it in a bit. I'd be ready. That way, pues. That way. That way. What you, What about you guys? What y'all been doing today? Oh, Friday. I've been working, closing some, trying to close some deals, you know? And yeah. Yeah, I was in Fort Wayne at my mom's waiting for my check. Did get it. Did you get it? No I check. Did get it. Damn. Check. What Sorry. the fuck? I got it. Week when later, get... no check. <laughs> That way. What's up with that? Why? Why no check? No money coming in. Why? I know. I don't know. No good. <laughs> no good, man. That way, man. So, yeah, um, we were going to have, uh, what's it called? A whole lot of guests on here today. Yeah, we were going to have, we we're going to call them out. We were going to have Chris. <laughs> we were going to have Adrian. Runs. Vergara. Shout Cesar. Out Who else are we? Cesar gonna... Johnson. And, and Capaz, right? Capaz, how capaz. And yeah, dude, and Ivan, y'all didn't no, show Ivan, up. What the hell is that, dude? Pedro. What do you think of that? They're just dissing our game now. <laughs> That's disrespectful. Can disrespectful. Count on them to show up? Nah, I'm just playing. No, nah, that way. <laughs> people busy, people got shit to do. No, yeah. that's bien. Yeah, que, you know, it's Friday. Okay. It's Friday, and like. But there's a. One teacher of mine once said, bro, the grind includes Friday. TGIF, you feel me? I mean, yeah. <laughs> the Grand Includes Friday. That's why, uh, well, well, good thing that, like, Chris at least texted me. He's like, <laughs> well, Ivan and Pedro's going to be busy or something like that or whatever. So right, understandable. Right. Understandable. Yeah. Well, yeah, Pedro, too. Did we say his name? Pedro, yes, sir. I didn't say it. Um, so, yeah, I'm about to... Uh, when this episode airs, he's gonna be in Mexico be again. again in Mexico. Like, bro, a lot of people have been meaning to ask this, right? And um, you got a business in Mexico, or what's going on, bro? Something like that, I guess you could say. But mainly just pleasure. You just go have a good time over there, come back like nothing. It's like what you want me to say? It's, I mean, uh, you what? are a. Uh, so something that you've been like running through, like going to Mexico a lot, because I mean, you don't. I mean, you might say you just go for pleasure, but you also go for important things as well. So um, one of the things that you've been kind of working on is, I mean, you already got it done, but your dual citizenship, how do you feel about that? 
dual citizen of uh, USA and Mexico. You know, pretty. It's a good thing to have. You know, you got powers in both countries. You can vote in both countries. You can move around in Mexico without, you know, being charged more for not being a resident or a citizen there. On land, which is the biggest part that I got my dual citizens citizenship for. And, uh, yeah, you know, you just got to have a bank account over there, transfer, you know, U.S. dollars to pesos easily without paying fees and shit like that. That's how you do it. Dude, and um, you told me last night that uh, that every time I go, since I'm not a Mexican citizen and I'm a tourist, they charge me a tourist fee, which I didn't know. <laughs> <laughs> going to different countries. Like when you buy the plane ticket? Or yeah, yeah, they when charge you. The yeah, ticket. you get a... It's about $29. It's already embedded into the flight ticket. Yeah. If you don't have if a, you're a, a Mexican tourist, passport, you, know? you will get charged the tourist fee. So that's why I need my... Yeah. Country. So Each if I country go to has the, its own fee, but for Mexico, it's $29. So, for example, if I go to the Philippines right now, since I'm not a Filipino citizen anymore, I would probably... Well, I would for sure pay that. So then you, then you know what the price is for that? He said 35 bucks, but I know goddamn well it's probably more. For other countries, it's different. Different fees. It depends on their government. But, you know, I still don't have my M- Mexico passport, so that's why I still pay the fee every time I fly because I don't have my passport. Yeah, you got to get that Mexican passport. Yeah, it's just been, you know, every single time we got free time off at work. I dipped to Mexico. So there's, you know, it's easier to get it here in Detroit. What about you, Nevaeh? You're um you're an American citizen ever since you were born. Yep. <laughs> and um one of the things that you haven't worked on is having a passport. And as an American <laughs> citizen, you should feel privileged. <laughs> privileged. No, no, I'm just kidding, but no. Just, it's a good privilege to have your passport. I mean, yeah, but the thing is you don't go if anywhere? I, if, like, yeah, like, if I were to go out of country, like, I would get my passport, but, like, I, I mean, I don't know, haven't gone out of the country, like, I was supposed to go to Mexico my spring break year, like, on one of those all-inclusive trips, you know, but then the what Frankfurt happened? fell apart, and that fell Ooh. apart. Wow. <laughs> wow. Wow. So then that trip was canceled. But then good thing, because then COVID happened, and then it, it got canceled anyway. And it got real, real quick, real fast. Yeah, for a minute... You couldn't, I guess, go into Mexico, or I guess you could go in there, but then to come back home to the U.S., you you need a bunch of shit, like, proof of a, a negative test, stuff, a fucking, to fill out a form, how you're feeling. Nowadays, that shit's gone, bro. You just fly like normal. I know in the, like, the Philippines, bro, it was on lockdown for, like, the longest time, and, like, you had to get a like to get out of the city because you have to go through like checkpoints and shit there. Military they wouldn't let you and shit if Military you're from a certain city and you have no business of going to another, you know, city. They're just not gonna let you go. That's how it is in some parts of northern Mexico. Military checkpoints. On the virus, where are you going? Going what? Where are you from? That way. I've never seen a military checkpoint here in the U.S. Must yeah, that's true. Not, it's cause Just toll yeah, roads, right? Don't travel here in the U.S. I, I don't travel here at all, which is crazy. I've <laughs> yeah, this traveled. dude goes to Mexico <laughs> seven times. A year? <laughs> a year, and really doesn't go anywhere in the U.S. What kind of huh? stuff is that, dude? Just Chicago seven times a year it's for <laughs> the airport, and that's it. Um, Dude... What do you think about, like, so we fly out of Chicago a lot. Yeah. And so, I mean, there's also another international airport, the one in Detroit and shit. But what I'm saying is, like, starting January of 2023, they have that no cash bail law. New laws whatever. in Illinois. Are you scared of that? How do you feel about that? Like, just, like, you for as example. A woman, how do you feel about that? Yeah. I don't know. That's just, like, that's so cool. I don't know. Everything about it is just crazy to me. I mean, I don't think just as, like, a woman, I think as anyone should feel like that's so crazy. Like, having someone, like, be on your property and, like, the police actually can't make them leave. They can just, like, give them, like, a ticket. Like, so someone could be, like, living in your shed. 
Some squatters. And you can just give them a ticket, and that's wow. it. They can't, like, put them off of your, like, premises. Like, it's crazy. Yeah, I mean, There's something they have a weird lot of... The people who that's the thing, though, in, like, a big city like that is, like, they're running out of space to, you know... To put people in, I guess. I was going <laughs> to say take care of these people, but... It's wild. There's a bunch of, uh, there's a lot of crime already in that area. Imagine next year. You feel me? Starting January. Yeah, we're going to have to fly out of Kalamazoo, Michigan to Texas and then catch another plane from Texas <laughs> to fucking Morelia, man. That's how it's going to have to be. Yeah. Another you know, thing. What about the Fort Wayne Airport? Have you been to that one? That's the one. That's the only one I've been to. No, I've actually never been to that one. Never been to that airport. Uh, for personal reasons, I will never fly out of an Indiana, Indiana? airport. <laughs> Ever. No one likes Indiana, bro. Never Honestly, airport. if you're from Indiana and you're still in Indiana, why are you living in Indiana? No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Stuff's cheaper there. Insurance and stuff. But I'd rather not miles. live in Indiana. I don't know. Feel good to be a Michigander. Yeah, I like being a Michigander, you know. Been told I got a Michigander accent in other parts of uh, say like say like um how do you say it? like just anywhere where um uh, stores I guess or anything every time you see like a person that's not from here Michigander accent <laughs> there's times you just speak English anywhere there was one time in Mexico. City, this was probably in uh, April, April time in Mexico City. I was uh, in the mall, spoke English around. There's people that, I guess, uh, heard you. They hear you speak English and they kind of want to speak English too. And then you get to talking where you're from, where you, like, you're visiting here, where you, especially now, there's a lot of Americans over there. D. The that area. Yeah. In Mexico City, yeah, Mexico you showed City. me a place where, oh, that's another topic that, like, people, like, Americans moving to a country that's, you know, it's like a a poor country, and they still work remote jobs and taking up all these living spaces, you know, and taking over a whole city and raising up those prices for those locals. You're getting paid in U.S. dollars living in Mexico Living in a very nice place compared to the locals, eating at better restaurants or I guess more expensive restaurants than well, the it's, locals. It's like one thing Raising for them wanting to move there, the right? But stores. it's like I feel like there should be some level of like control there, within like I'm like if because if they're making that much money, maybe they should be getting tax more. I don't know, dude. I'm not the. I don't want to be mean, that I'm guy. I'm pretty but. sure they still. Like, yeah. They definitely Tax pay the taxes and shit, but to the U.S. because they get paid, you know, yeah. U.S. dollars. Taxes but in Mexico is because they live there as tourists. Exactly. Like us, just like us. That they just but I feel like an somehow the economy still needs to run back to the locals. You know what I'm saying? But I've asked, like, because my mom this question, too, because, like, she used to live there her, her whole life, and I asked her, like, how would you feel if a bunch of Americans were to come, like, sit in your neighborhood, raise up prices on it? Yeah. Yeah, it, it would feel pretty Because the place would never thrive if, a, like, a certain group of people just took over and started jacking everything up. How do you feel There's about no that? Structure. Like, what if you moved to Mexico? Would you move to Mexico? She got to visit it first, see how it is. Well, some people don't even speak Spanish. And they be living all up in Mexico City. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Like, oh, yeah. I don't know. <laughs> like, like, what? Culture, culture shock, shock, you think? No, no, yeah, what? I mean, yeah, that too. Just, and like, I don't know. I just kind of leave, like, <laughs> like, I don't know. I can't imagine. Do you think you can live in the Philippines other then? Other than America. See, like, for me. So, do you think you can't live in the Philippines then? For the rest of my life? No. Well, I never asked. You just added that part <laughs> yourself. I said, 
<laughs> would you ever live in the Philippines? I never said. I mean, the thing is, is like I don't even know if I could like. I don't know. I mean, maybe it'll be more different like later on. But like right now, this like, woman. I can't imagine myself like living like and being away from like I don't know. Like, being away from here, your like home. My, yeah, like yeah. both. Being away from Bo, that's it. Bo. Bo. Being away from Bo. Pop a picture of Bo. <laughs> <laughs> Shout out to Bo. Haven't seen him in a while. No way, don't bring him around no more around here. Yeah. I love my Bo. Shout out he to him. He had a seizure and he literally fell down the stairs. Oh, no. And he had, he had a cut on his head. He finally healed, though. Little guy. Sad. Is he good now? Chilling? Yeah. He's Shout like, you basically have a kid, right, babe? I honestly feel like that. <laughs> like, especially, like, in this, like, last year, I feel like he gives me, like, the anxiety of a kid. Like, I'm constantly worrying about him, like, a child or something. And I'm like, oh. Do you feel like you can't it's do anything? It's going to suck, though, when he... It's just going to suck, like, because I feel that way. <laughs> like, I'm so close to him. And then when he dies, it's just going to... It's going to hit hard. I, could he even be, like, the first person... Because he's like a person to me, okay? And when he dies, it's going to be like the first like close person to ever die to me, it feels like. Because I've never lost someone like close to me yet. And when so, did you get Bo? You were young, right? Young, yeah. Young, young. I mean, we've had him for 11 years. <laughs> Damn, that's some thin shit. Y'all see that? That's wild. Homie you gotta get that. 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 Homie yeah, launched that. Launch. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. That way, man. I don't know, man. La cabrón, just, la adicción, amigos, no, no more mm-hmm. vape, no more vape. Ya no usen cigarros electrónicos, por favor. Ya no. Kung, kung magsasalita siya ng Spanish, magsasalita na rin ako ng Tagalog. Kasi meron kami, da- siya, Mexicano, ako, Pilipino, and then meron tong puti. Algunas personas nos dicen que por qué no hablamos en nuestros idiomas. Y hay que hacer pues un episodio pues en español y en filipino, ¿verdad? Para que toda nuestra audiencia pues nos pueda entender porque pues nomás hablamos en puro inglés y está bueno. Está bueno. We gotta diversify. <laughs> yeah. We gotta diversify. This is us shit. diversifying our 500 grand podcast. Saludos a toda la raza que nos yeah. ve. Yeah, once we get México. enough people up on this, we will make our content available for the languages we care about. <laughs> At yes, the sir, start. Or yeah, like Mr. Beast, you know? Gonna dub it. <laughs> Just gonna dub it. We nah, gotta man. get some Chinese guy. We gotta get a Japanese. We gotta get a <laughs> Indian. Indian. We gotta guy. get a... We gotta get a Pakistani guy from a Pakistani people out there. Pakistan. Um, yeah, dude. Imagine that, though. Recording episode in Spanish and Filipino. Yeah, because... That's what I'm saying. I need to learn my, I need to learn Spanish for real. Like ever (laughs) since I moved to the U.S., like I know my first year here, I look super Filipino. I'll pop a picture up right now. But people think that I'm like Mexican all the time. And at every like places I've worked, factories and everywhere, bro. Doesn't matter. Walmart. All the Mexicans just come up to me. Hola, primo. Mm. The younger ones. The younger ones. The younger ones. But, and then I always mess with them, hit them with the, no habla español, no soy mexicano. <laughs> it's taught you to say that early. And they're like, ah, <laughs> callate, puto. <laughs> they think you're bullshitting. <laughs> <laughs> they think you're bullshitting. <laughs> but yeah, dude, that's just one of the ways that I like to mess with people is like, I mean, might as well just like accept it that I kind of look Mexican. Oh, Dave, there's that hat. Let me put that hat on. It's on the kitchen counter. Grab it. You know, hat. We got that Gallo hat. <laughs> Saludos. Saludos on David. Is her mic still on, Dave? Gallos. Like on that circle block or that yeah, block? Is that still on? Oh, yes, sir, my man. Ooh, bad. We're still going. <laughs> so, yeah, we got this Gallo hat, you know. Rooster. Low key, I was thinking of like going to the gym with this on, and it's just funny because like here in Sturgis, you know, there's a lot of Mexicans, and low key, bro, I just don't want these Mexicans to come up to me like start bashing me on like, oh, "Are you wearing a hat?" Like, 
la Mexican, it bro. It looks nice because the head looks nice. Got it in Sinapecuaro. <laughs> the Sinapecuaro. Homie was in the Tianguis in Sinapecuaro, man. For You've real. been in there. Hell yeah. Shout out to Yeah, that. I've. Dude, <laughs> going into Chilly. like Mexico is a pretty fun experience. Like going into Sinapecuaro and then, you know, like Mexico I City, living both Mexico. lives. Because like it's going to be dope because one day we're going to go to the Philippines and we're going to. Basically, do the same shit that we did in Mexico and the Philippines. Down over or what? Yeah, I'll be on that trip. <laughs> Are you gonna get a passport? She needs to get a passport. Because yeah. you need a passport for that. Yeah. You gotta keep the formation. <laughs> <laughs> keep it walking for David me. has this, um, when we travel places, <laughs> or I guess when we went to Mexico, we have this uh, certain formation anytime we walk anywhere. Uh, whether I'll be in, like, you know, the city or anywhere, dude. Like, going out at night and shit. Always had this formation of who was up front, Dave? Diego. Diego was always up front. And then everyone else in the middle. And then David, David in the back. <laughs> oh That's that formation, That's bro. That's what it is, man. Just got to walk as a unit, as a whole fucking unit walking up in that bitch. Because in, like, places like that, bro, you if anyway. something went down, bro, you got to be like right there. Yeah, you gotta walk like a boss. Right there. It's because you don't understand living in other countries. I'm just kidding. Yeah, I walked around Sturgis at night, man. <laughs> See, like that's scary as fuck to me. It's scarier yeah, than fucking key. walking and seeing a pequero at night. For some reason, for some, <laughs> for reason. For some reason, I can't walk you, on certain streets really? at night here. Here, there's would, too many I would walk fucking at night in Mexico. Well, here, I don't know. Something about. It. I don't know. <laughs> That's how it be, bro. It's like at night here in uh, Sturgis, it's like a GTA lobby because like motherfuckers so will come up to you trying to put you on different random ass side missions and you just got to deny it because they're probably up to no good. That's how it be. That's how it be in Tinapecuro. You remember that one day we got sidetracked. By helping a guy unlock his truck. Yeah, dude. You know, we were at the... Little fucking, side quest, man. Whatever that was. Like a little fair or whatever. La fiesta de la iglesia. <laughs> yeah. Francisco, mother. Hell yeah. yeah. But, dude, we were up in that bitch listening to music, you know, drinking, sipping. And next thing you know, these motherfuckers are like, I'm gonna go take a piss. And they don't come back for like a goddamn hour, bro. Helping the community. And then I finally go down the street to, like, find y'all. And then I see y'all trying to pop open this. Nah, bro. (laughs) Just chilling. (laughs) Love music. Saludos a Misa Lopez. He was performing that. Yeah, shout out Misa Lopez. Yeah, but that night we we low-key had, like, they low-key had some, like, technical difficulties. But hopefully next time I come back to Mexico, I see them live. (laughs) Next time, yeah, you gotta go again. He's Novea a pretty too. good, uh, Novea, pretty good singer, go bro. City. I'll put him on the put him put his link yeah. in the bio or bio, put his link in the <laughs> description, guys. <laughs> Jesus, oh, man, traveling's fun. I just hate the airport bullshit sometimes, man. But the thing about the ride to the Philippines, <clears throat> that's the hard thing. That's yeah. gonna be the hard part. It's How long it is? Because even that three-hour plane ride that be going on, I'd be getting anxiety like halfway through. Like, dang, I really yeah. You would never right last now. sixteen hours in the air then. And they're in there so long. That's a long time. Then you land a whole different fucking day. <laughs> Kinda. Yeah. You know, yeah. like you gotta. Because like, right now, adjust. what time is it right now? Six thirty-seven p.m. So it's literally six thirty-seven a.m. over there. Hell yeah. That's why. We, oh, that's <laughs> something I gotta clear up before in the we future. wrap this up. Because my brother was like, "Where's the podcast? Where's the podcast?" I'm like, "Bro, chill out. It comes out literally, well, you know, on Friday at six p.m. But it's Saturday at six a.m. in in Asia, on the other side of the world. So if y'all are watching from the other side of the world, six a.m. Saturday. Everybody <laughs> all over the world. That's wild." Reaching all the way to the Philippines. Yeah. Oh, yes. Singapore sir. and the Philippines, bro. To Singapore. Shout out to my su- subscribers from Singapore. Yes, sir, my man. Yeah. But that's been your fifth episode. Hopefully, we have some more guests in the next podcast. Yeah. Do you have anything to say? 
Thank you for having me on, guys. It was a, it was a pleasure. <laughs> Do you want to be on the next one? I said when we started this whole, remember when we con- conceptualized this whole podcast? We said that she was going to be a co-host. Yeah, yeah, yeah. One, day, I remember one day I waited because it was like you guys were filming that Sunday and everybody was like, we're filming later. I'm like, okay. Yeah. I waited to go to Fort Wayne. It was like 7 p.m. You know, I'm like, well, I probably should get going because like I worked the next day, you know, and had to drive two hours for work. All right, well, it's the end of the episode. Thank you. <laughs> Dude, it's the end of the episode. <laughs> Thank you for having me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my goodness. I'm going to spoil yeah (laughs) see y'all for episode six (laughs) hope you guys enjoyed dude you were pulling i was like dude no you're doing this in front of me right now in my own show (laughs) it was just gonna be 30 seconds more though